Now you're seeking to raise 500 billion shillings through a rice tissue later this month so that you can raise your capital base to 1.3 billion. What is the latest on this development? We got the rights issue approved by the AGM in June. We are trying to raise 500 million. As you know, the CBK minimum capital for a commercial bank by the end of this year will be a billion shillings. We are currently at 800. So we needed to raise 200 million shillings to comply with the CBK minimum. And we needed to raise an additional 300 million to finance our expansion, you know, our branch network which we, we, we are expanding, as I said. So we, we got the AGM approval in June. We, we got the board approval last week, actually. And uh, we have come up with a prize. Uh, we have uh, done our information memorandum, and we will be launching these on 9th of September, so, which is next week. So next week, we will do a, a press release giving the details, but basically, uh, I can tell you it's 500 million shillings as for the price uh, we will, you, you'll get to, to, to know that next week on 9th. Now let's take a look at your expansion plan. And earlier this year you had said that you're targeting to open 12 new branches by the end of the year. Are you on course to meet this goal? Yes, we, we set out at the beginning of the year you know, to, to, to just increase our footprint in terms of CBK uh, approved branches to take our services closer to our customers. Uh, we only had one at the beginning of the year, that's the branch here on Koinange Street. So we, we are basically opening CBK branches in areas where we had sales centers, uh, where our customers are. And as you know, Jamibora as a microfinance, most of our customers are situated in the, the low income group, uh, mostly in formal areas. So and, and that's where basically we have opened branches in uh, Isli, catering for our customers in Madare, uh, in places like Kariobangi, we have gone to Kawangware, we are going to Rongata Rongai, we have gone to Kikuyu. And uh, we also want to have uh, a presence across the country. And towards that, we have uh, opened a branch in Kisumu and one in Mombasa. And we are now looking at uh, the major towns uh, across the country, you know, the Nakurus, the Eldoret, uh, Naivasha, and uh, places like Nyeri and, uh, and, and Meru. And are you still optimistic on reaching that target of 12 new branches by the end of this year? We hope to get to the 12th uh, by October. Uh, so we could end up with about 13 to 15 this year. This is definitely su subject to availability of premises, but, but the 12th, we will get to 12th. Now, Jamibora has been looking at positioning itself as a micro lender at the low end of the market. How has the growth been in this area? A lot of potential. As uh, I always say that uh, you have got only about, just about 10 million sh accounts, bank accounts, and you have got uh, over 20 million, uh, uh, you know, mobiles, telephone subscribers and to me I think that every one of these person who is a mobile telephone subscriber can have a bank account. So the potential is great and this potential is really on the lower end because these are the people who are unbanked. Uh, you know, people on the upper end will most probably have bank accounts. So. I believe there is great potential and uh, therefore we see customer numbers increasing greatly. Moving on Mr. Kimani, as recently as two years ago, Jamibora was operating as a microfinance institution. How has the transition been so far? It's not been smooth, but uh, it's been easy because we had the customers. Uh, and a lot of these customers, whether they were microfinance customers, they still didn't, uh, they needed, uh, they, they they needed uh, banking services and banking products. So we have seen them taking up these products quite readily and, and therefore the transition has not been that difficult. In fact, what has happened is uh, uh, they, they have been able to access more, more products. As a microfinance, most of them would borrow through groups. Uh, you know, they would get together as groups so that uh, they could guarantee each other. As a bank today, we are able to, to give them services as individuals. As they grow in affluence, you know, as they require uh, accounts as individuals for their businesses. So 
So it's it's for the customer. It's been a very very good experience, you know, and that transition from a microfinance to a bank. There also reports which indicated that Jamibora Bank was looking at listing at the NSC. What is the latest on this? Are you looking at listing at the market anytime soon? No, that's that's some way to come because uh, of the of the listing requirements. As you know, you you you, requ you are required to have had to have been profitable for at least three years. So what that means is we can't list before uh, 2016, uh, you know. So those, those, those are really future plans. What we intend to do is to have our shares, uh, or, you know, over the, to do some over-the-counter uh, trading. So we will be appointing two investment banks uh, to, to trade our shares for our customers, but not listing. Listing will come down the, the, the road, yeah.